Larry, thanks so much. And right now, cleanup underway across our area after that severe weather that Larry was talking about that happened late into the night. Wake up, Charlotte's Richard Vane out live taking a look at some of the damage that's been done. So, Richard, what are you seeing out there? Yeah, right now I'm seeing someone who needs to buy a new car right over my shoulder. I'm right here at Roswell's Ferry in Idaho Road. This car submerged or was submerged in water when the people who were inside that car actually tried to drive under that underpass last night and it was flooded. Their car was stranded, towed by police officers that basically they were not able to get a tow truck operated to come and tow that car away last night because the waters were so high and they thought it was dangerous. Just one of the problems that folks in our area had to face after these storms pelted the areas. We look at video, there was rain, heavy rains coming down and strong winds throughout the night causing havoc. There was lightning in one area where actually in Ballantyne, crews were, fire crews were called out to a scene of a uh, house fire, excuse me, a smoke in an attic because of a possible lightning strike. This had uh, firefighters rushing and doing their job when bad weather strikes. And of course, the good news in all of this, nobody seriously hurt. As we come back here live, we can tell you that Idaho Road, Roswell's Ferry, this road is actually closed. We've been here all morning as cars have found out as they come up the road that they can't get around. They're turning around this way and they're turning around on that side. A lot of traffic concerns for folks because of the bad roads and this road is particularly closed. But the best way for me to get around in the morning is I call Ruby Durham and I say, hey, Ruby, what's the weather or the traffic like? I uh -huh. said weather, Ruby. I meant traffic. Hey.